The report indicates that Uganda is now indebted to a tune of 86.6 trillion Uganda shillings, representing 53% of the GDP. I now have the pleasure to formally present to you the report and the key highlights. And those key areas include, one, management of the public debt. In November 2022, Bank of Uganda revealed that the public debt stood at 80 trillion shillings. 80 trillion. Now, GDP is estimated at around 160 uh, trillion. So that gives us a ratio of what we said as 50% of GDP. The addition of 6.6 .6 trillion shillings in just two months, as indicated by the Auditor General, is attributed to increased domestic borrowing. We have been overly reliant on domestic debt because it is easy to, uh, 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 to get. And uh, we are saying, let us have optimal to be acquired externally where it is cheaper. If it is not cheaper, we leave it. The increased borrowing by government makes it more difficult for the country to pay both external and internal debt, which can also lead to creditors seeking higher interest rates to compensate for the risks associated to defaulting or unnecessary debt extension. Debt service in the next two, three years is quite big as a result of the commercial loans we took. They have a short repayment period. In 2022 stroke 23, we are spending close to $1.8 billion for government imports and for debt service. And already we are seeing that part of the reduction in the foreign currency reserves this year is linked to that. In November last year, the Bank of Uganda had also given assurance that the debt is manageable. Is this debt then sustainable? What was uh, referred to me, uh, to, uh, to me uh, by the chairperson, obviously, this debt is sustainable. Last week, Finance Minister Matia Kasaija backed the country's move to borrow domestically. NSSF, now we have, we have told you, is a solid fund. Why should I go and borrow from abroad when it, there is money here? In 2018, Uganda's public debt stood at 41.5 trillion shillings. In 2019, it stood at 46.1 trillion shillings, and in 2020, it was 56.2 trillion shillings. It grew to 75.1 trillion shillings in 2021, and 86.6 .6 trillion shillings in 2022. Jingo Francis, NTV.